particular course and uh, in this uh, we are going to go over multiple technologies uh, we are going to do some front-end development some back-end development uh, we are going to understand the uh, agile framework we are going to do some unit testing uh, integration testing uh, through automated testing uh, then we're going to talk about databases we're going to talk about microservices we're going to talk about cloud uh, so if I have to explore these topics in detail uh, on the front end side on the front end side we are going to have HTML CSS bootstrap JavaScript jQuery angular there is also going to be some react and I'm going to try to include uh, Xamarin or blazer uh, in week number seven <clears throat> on the back end development side uh, the uh, stack is uh, a little longer uh, we're going to talk about c sharp programming language uh, then we're going to see different programming paradigms we're going to do a couple of design patterns uh, then we're going to uh, understand the difference between these two frameworks uh, 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 the dotnet framework and dotnet core uh, i think uh, some people are having difficulty joining uh, give me give me one minute Uh, then we're going to do some uh, .NET Framework study itself. And, and then we're going to move into uh, the server-side web development, which is ASP.NET MVC. And we're also going to uh, develop some web APIs. Uh, to complete the spectrum, we'll, we're going to do some WPF and desktop development. Uh, and then we're going to move to uh, service creations. Uh, all right. So, all right. So I think I'm I'm expecting at least one more participant. Uh, all right. Uh, we're going to do some soap services and restful services. Uh, then in the testing side, uh, I'm not going to cover it all, uh, but then I'm definitely going to do some unit testing and I'm going to do some test driven development. And then while doing this, we're going to cover uh, n unit or x unit at least uh, one of these. Uh, three frameworks right uh, Jasmine Mocha uh, uh, Jasmine Karma uh, they are more on the uh, front-end development side uh, and then unit testing tools uh, on the databases side I'm definitely going to cover SQL my SQL is almost similar because they are all based on the same standard uh, MongoDB is the NoSQL DB implementation uh, we're going to do this or I'm thinking of another database that is called the couch database uh, we're going to do this uh, Redis is another uh, NoSQL database uh, probably we're going to cover that and then we're going to show you how databases are uh, different in uh, on the cloud uh, mostly in Azure uh, then we're going to move to microservices uh, in microservices we are going to talk about docker and kubernetes uh, these technologies uh, they are not microservices but then they way they make creating microservices very easy one more minute so I've nothing all right so uh, on the cloud side uh, it is not going to be an extensive cloud development course uh, but then it is uh, going to cover some cloud fundamentals and it is going to walk you through multiple uh, features of uh, the Azure platform uh, so with that uh, we're going to uh, we Somewhere in the middle, I've also tucked in uh, the Agile and DevOps development. Um, over here, we're going to talk about how software development lifecycle of Agile is different than DevOps. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the Agile methodology. Uh, we are uh, also going to talk about uh, some methodologies. Uh, and uh, this is uh, our general training schedule. Uh, I'm going to try to stick to this, uh, but then a couple of things might uh, uh, might spill over into some other days. Uh, but the first week mostly is going to be reserved for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery. Uh, and then probably on Friday, I'm going to give you a hands-on assignment, uh, which will be based on what we have learned in, in week number one. Uh, week number two uh, is going to be uh, a little bit of uh, SQL and databases. Uh, starting week number two, uh, the course is going to get a little intensive and it is going to focus uh, on C Sharp. Now, this is where you're going to learn most of your programming. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to uh, multiple programming paradigms. Just one second.
all right so in the uh, csharp.net section uh, i'm going to introduce you to multiple programming paradigms and then knowledge of these paradigms is extremely extremely important uh, regardless of the type of programming that you want to do uh, whether you want to do angular or jquery or you want to do java or angular or react this week here and the design pattern section here is going to set the base for uh, the kind of applications that you are creating uh, in the next week in the next week uh, we're going to uh, talk about the agile frameworks and then how uh, unit testing and agile and devops they are closely linked so this week is going to set you up for working in enterprise grade projects and working in bigger teams uh, then we're going to switch back to uh, handheld devices and desktop application development and in week number seven we're going to do some wpf um, xamarin or probably some blazor and we're going to build uh, another application based on that uh, in week number eight, we're going to uh, create web-based applications, uh, applications that run on the internet, and uh, they get consumed on the internet. Uh, this is where uh, Docker and Kubernetes are also going to come in picture. Uh, there are projects lined up on these technologies in the next week, um, but then if uh, we are not able to cover those topics, uh, this content is going to slide uh, a little bit. With that, uh, uh, the last three weeks, I would expect you to uh, do an extensive uh, project based on all these the, the previous technologies that we have uh, that we have discussed so far uh, there are some topics that i've listed over here uh, probably you might have received this as a as a pdf format uh, this is the kind of uh, machine that i expect that you should at least have uh, this kind of con uh, configuration if you don't have this um, you will still be able to follow through the labs you will still be able to do some hands-on but then the experience is not going to be as good uh, so uh, feel free to upgrade your machines or, or continue the ones that you have but uh, this is this is what i would recommend uh, for software requirement uh, i would expect that you all are on windows 10 because if you're not on windows 10 probably docker is not going to run for you uh, also check your edition if you are on home edition docker is not going to work you will have to bump your operating system up to professional edition uh, .NET framework uh, .NET core uh, you will have to have these installed and uh, i'm going to give you tips on how to install these softwares all right uh, you can install sql server on your computer but then there are other tricks uh, that i'm going to show you later in the course uh, with which you can get away without installing these softwares all right these are uh, Station. All right, so uh, let's get started.